Hello, this is Danny Crumno, and hog hunting was terrible last week, and I went fishing and didn't get to hunt much, so I didn't do a video at all. But I took a couple pictures the other day of my new rifle I'm setting up. It's not really a new rifle, it's an old one, but a bolt action. And somebody say, why would anybody use a bolt action I've still got my brace built uh, 308 auto and I've still got the resonator scope on it and I've still got the rattler uh, thermal on it but I've been missing something while I'm out hog hunting and I can't do that with the uh, brace built automatic what I like to do, and the little project that I'm working on right now, is that I've taken the Rattler scope, and of course I've sighted it in at 100 yards, and I like it to hit about that high, which is inch and a half over the top of my target. That gets me pretty well on up to 200, 250 yards with the Rattler. Uh, but you always got to remember with the rattler scope you have to pick one crosshair and sight in using that crosshair and if you go to another crosshair you can go and sight in another gun but in my opinion if you take the scope off and then put it back on it's never going to return right back to zero It'll be close, but never right back to zero. So, but kind of getting off my subject there. All of y'all that have looked at the Rattler, you know that it has another feature in here called the trajectory. Now, when you go to the crosshairs, that's where you zero your scope. And you zero one crosshair, and you really need to leave it on that crosshair. Uh, if you don't like the crosshair, supposedly, I haven't tried this, you can write down your coordinates, change to the other crosshair, and then move the coordinates to the crosshair to start using that one. And I haven't tested that. I don't know if it works good or not. You know, I'm not sponsored by AGM or anything, but I do kind of like playing with these things. One feature that almost nobody talks about in the Rattler scope is the trajectory. Now, I'm just getting started on this, but trajectory, what that's meant to be, let's say that uh, you're out here and you want to sight in dead on at 100 yards. you got to hit just perfect at a hundred yards. Uh, at 200 yards a 308 is going to drop considerably. You probably shoot almost under a hog and you sure couldn't hit him under the in the head. So I always like to shoot about that high. Saying that the trajectory is used just for that. And what happens is that you sight in dead on at 100 yards. If you want to hit at two or 300 yards, after you're sighted in, you can go to the little flag. There's a flag in the menu. Go down to trajectory, and you will put, it's in meters now, and I just ignore that. I put in 100, and I know that means 100 yards, not 100 meters. But anyhow, it will make you a little line there. Once you get that little line, then you can adjust the crosshairs to hit dead on at two or 300 yards. And that's kind of neat uh, to have that. But my project is I like shooting these hogs, and there's always a great big bunch of hogs out there, and they are scattered out, and there's always one that's just right there in the wrong damn place. 
And that one hog, you know if you shoot him, all the rest are going to run. Well, they make subsonic 308s. Uh, I don't buy mine. I reload my own. I use Trail Boss and I use 220 grain bullets. But what I'm doing, I am trying to get sighted in. And I'm pretty well there. I would have been there today except that I run out of bullets. I didn't take enough with me. But uh, I'm going to use this trajectory to sight in my subsonics and I want them to hit a little bit high at a hundred yards you know normally uh, these hogs if you get you know 40 50 yards and the winds not blowing they'll hear you or smell you but a uh, hundred yards are just about perfect so I want to try to use these subsonics in a 308, the same thing could be done with a 300 blackout or uh, any of the other calibers to sneak up and put a subsonic in that hog and not spook the rest of them. I know this can be done because I've done it before, but when you get that trajectory, that's the way to do that. You won't have to guess at it. There will be a little piece of a line right there and I am told I haven't used it yet but if you make another one let's say that mine is 100 if you make another one that is uh, say farther like 200 it'll make more than one line now I haven't seen it do that so I can't say for sure it'll do it but you could have a 200 yard trajectory and a 300 yard and it makes little dots below your crosshair and uh, of course I'm doing good to hit a hog in the head with a subsonic at a hundred yards that's pretty difficult shot not because the gun won't do it and not because the scope won't do it but these subsonics are kind of predict unpredictable they don't shoot what I call a really good group. I'm getting probably two or three inch group at a hundred yards, but if I can hit them at a hundred yards, I can guarantee I can hit them up closer, especially in the body. And uh, to give you about how much power these subsonics in the 308, these are 220 grains, and it would be the same in a 300 blackout. It would be about the same as shooting them with a 45 automatic pistol. It'll dang sure kill them. They may run a little bit if you hit them in the body, but you hit them in the ear, they should go down. So that's my project. That's what I'm working on. And uh, we're going to, I've got a few more uh, subsonics, and we're going to get after that and see if maybe uh, I can make that happen. And uh, this is my Ruger American. Most of you don't know it, but if you go and buy you a Ruger American, you can call Ruger for $25. They will send you a kit that will let you put a magazine, an AICS or something magazine in there and hold, I think, 10, 20 rounds. I always buy the PMAG. 10 rounds and you know that anchor uh, power pack came off of uh, Amazon I don't know how much that was about $40 but this thing will run the scope leaving it on not even putting it to sleep all night long and of course it's the LEDs are too bright I put that blue tape on there but this thing is movie theater quiet with those uh, subsonics. So if you've got a little time and you just want to play, of course I've got a Yankee Hill resonator scope on here. You know, you might think about that trajectory feature because I think that's pretty neat. It can really be put to good use. So thank you for watching.